Hello and welcome to Scratch Phrase, where we finish each other's sandwiches. <laughs> yes, we welcome you all to tonight's show. It's so great to have you all here. Now, we're going to kick off with a real brain teaser. So, back to Sarah to find that out. Good luck for all of you playing at home. Okay, okay, it is the first round of the night, and uh, what do we have here behind me? Well, it's a cheeky catchphrase, and, um, well, it's up to you to decide what it is. I'm not going to tell you right now, but I will give you ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Did you get it? Well, if not, here's the answer. It's a pair of sneakers. Look at them, just sneaking about. Well, it's time to hear from our sponsor, and I must warn you guys, this one is a real tearjerker. So get some Kleenex at the ready. But they are doing such great work, you know, truly pioneering their field. So please do chin in, and please do give generously. Alone. Abandoned. Cold. Recognise this, an all too familiar sight from the double glazing of your latest kitchen extension. Did you know a swing ball can remain in its prime for up to seven years after purchase? New statistics show that one in three swing ball sets aren't used past their first birthday. We've now reached a breaking point. Up and down the country, swing ball sets are left unswung for months on end relying on you to make a change. At Unswung Heroes, we aim to rehome roughly 17 to 20 swing ball sets per leap year. Swing into action by contacting us today to begin the rehoming process. I've been a proud rescue swing ball owner for about five years now and honestly it's the best thing I've ever done. Not only have I helped it, I mean, it's also really helped me as well and I just think that's really special. If you want to help, but don't have the time or space to rehome a swing ball set of your own, there are still ways to make a difference. For just £3 a month, you can provide enough water to stabilise a rehome swing ball set and you'll receive monthly updates from your sponsored swing ball. Call us today on 01234 567 89. Oh, sorry. Um, quite the tearjerker, isn't it? Well, here are some more laugh jerkers for you. Hi everyone, welcome to STEM Class 101. Due to the current government guidelines, we're holding our class online today. Thank you all for joining and let's get started. Okay, it's starting now. Um, could you hand me the... the, um... Um... Oh, can you hand me, um... the, uh... Tired of not getting what you want? Don't ask. Don't get. Never be lost for words again with our time in the selection of placeholder names here at Holden De Plus. Our monthly on-the-go card sets will fit perfectly into your purse, shoe or back pocket for all your utensil needs. Subscribe today and reclaim your nouns. Because here at Holden De Plus, we know what you want. All you have to do is ask. We believe communication is key. So order your starter pack today. In time for whenever WhatsApp face invites you round. Is that a thing you should have been on about? Hold on to pass. Okay, time for the next round. Will any of you contestants be able to identify this next brain teaser? <laughs> it's a real thinker. Okay, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Did any of you get it? That's right, it's 
Don't let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Meow, indeed, Eve. <laughs> well, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Here are some more sponsors. Hello, anyone connected through? Um, can you please give us your name and location? I have urgent pickup in T minus 12 minutes. Hi, it's Pete on call. I'm in um, Queen Square, over. Could you please spell that for me, please? Over. Yes, yeah, sorry, P for psoriasis, E for um, I, T for SAR, E for... Uh, sorry? Over. P for psoriasis. You know the skin condition that causes cells to like, multiply like a thousand times? Over. What are you talking about? Can you please use the NATO phonetic alphabet you learnt in training? Over. Uh... Oh, we don't have time. Just spell out your location, sir. Over. Queen Square. Q for Cuba. The next story tonight comes from our media and communication sector. A study of recent data has shown that the studio to correspondent delay has reached an all-time high across the nation. We now join our Southwest correspondent, Kirsten McDermott, who's outdoors in front of a vaguely relevant background. Over to you, Kirsten. Thank you, so for our next game we're going to be multiplying four by four what oh my god psych no we're not that's a different thing that's maths we don't do that around here what we do do is words and in particular catchphrases now you're going to tell me in 10 seconds what behind me is saying 10 9 8 7 6 5 Four, three, two, and a one. Did you get it? Forgive and forget. What? Well, our lovely audience, I hope you're enjoying the show so far and catching those phrases. <laughs> now it's time to hear from another one of our lovely sponsors. Please do tune in, fasten your seatbelts. The emergency exits are here, here, and here. <laughs> And pay attention to our next segment. Thank you. Handing over. Hello and welcome to our first virtual meeting of the Shooting Society. COVID can't stop the shoot off. Tarquin and I shall be the pigeons. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, who was that aimed at? Tarquin. Oh, sorry, chap. Go again, go again. <laughs> oh, excellent shot, Quentin, my dear chap. Thank you, chap. Thank you. Hello, and welcome back to the 8 o'clock news. I'm your anchor man tonight, joined by my co anchor, Sam. Thanks for that, Sam. Now on to Bobby for the weather. Well, how are we all getting along so far, my friends? Hope we got a good few answers in the audience. Time for round four. Will any of you be able to get this cheeky little conundrum? Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Did anyone get the answer right? It was, in fact, half baked. A little bit of a naughty one for 8 pm on a Monday evening. <laughs> Well, our lovely audience, hasn't it been a great show so far? In the words of Mr. Ronald McDonald, I'm Mick loving it. <laughs> Now, you've guessed it. What's it time for? Oh, let me check my watch. It's sponsor o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock. <sighs> Haven't seen you around here before. 
Well, Gotham Lady, that's because I just moved into this here town. I'm trying to get to know the local scene, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, sir, I'm sure I could guess. <laughs> now, if a man would take a pretty lady like yourself out for a spot of dinner, where would you go about doing such a thing? Well, we are at a cafe, are we not? <laughs> Shall I join you? Please. what we'd be having today then. <laughs> so tell me about the last place you were working at and like the project and stuff. So I worked there for about 10 years, made a lot of changes, a lot of new stuff. And in my last year, we made a net profit of around £100,000. Wow, not bad. It was really high stress job, um, but I, I think I thrive in that environment. I'm looking for a new company. It's going to push me even further and it's going to put me in a more senior role. Yeah, that's understandable. Although, you know, I think taking into consideration, um, you know, higher position, there's more more work and sometimes less time to even do that work. Mm -hmm. So, can you perform under pressure? <laughs> under pressure, pushing down on me, pushing down on you. You're hired. And would you believe it? We've come to our final round. We're approaching the end of the show, but don't cry too much, guys. We'll be back very soon with another one. <laughs> So, final round, get your thinking caps on. Last 10 seconds, get those answers in the comments, my friends. Oh, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Did we get it? It is, in fact, be seeing you, as in... I'll be seeing you. Be see in you. <laughs> How do you kids come up with these? Incredible. Well, well done to all you that got it at home. Really good on that, Eve. Quite the brain teaser. <laughs> but we are approaching the end of the show. Aww. I know, I know. Fear not, we will be back very soon. And we do have a few more words from our sponsors. Let's have a look. But first, the weather. As low as minus four over in the east there. So all in all, we are in for a chilly one this weekend. If there ever were a time to wear socks and sandals, it's still not now. Hi, I'm James and I'm Mark's best man. Being on this wedding is such a privilege and I really feel like the process has bonded us like brothers. Weddings are a stressful time and I'm striving to be a rock for Mark. I want to be there through the highs and the lows and I can't wait to be stood there in front of the aisle watching him commit to the love of his life. <laughs> It's gonna be hard not to shed a tear. I'm not gonna lie. They are true soulmates. Yo, what's up, my brothers from another mother? I'm Bill. I'm the worst man alive. Nah, I'm just kidding. Really. Nah, I'm, uh, I'm Mark's worst man. You know, ever since I uh, first laid eyes on that shit bag and I stole his lunch, I stole his savings, and I stuffed him in his locker, I just knew I'd be the man for the job, you know? And that James, yeah, best man, absolute wetty. So um, I think I'm going to have to work extra hard to make this wedding as shit as possible. So, you know, right now I'm spending most of my time uh, doing some, some stag do planning. So the plan is right now, yeah, we knock him out, bag over the head on the cargo ship to Spain. He wakes up in Magaluf, shot of absinthe for breakfast. Line of coke for lunch, strippers for dinner. Now that's what I call a balanced diet. Uh, by the time this stag is over, he will be a broken man. And Annie's respect for him will have diminished to 
the point of hatred. And that's what I call the bill effect. Peace out, motherfuckers. Testing, one, two, one, two. Ooh, <laughs> feedback. Oh, honestly, I'm so bad with technology. The only time I'm to eating is when I'm saving endangered birds in the Cotswolds. <laughs> oh, getting distracted, mm, just like me. Today's Annie's day. Annie, I'm so honoured to be your maid of honour. <laughs> I remember... One sec. I remember when we were three and we promised each other we'd carry each other's wedding trains down the aisle. Yeah, yeah. The day finally came and look at you. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh God, I've been so busy lately. Sorry, I can't talk properly because I'm smiling so much. <laughs> Silly me. I've been so busy lately, sending you on spa trips, comforting your nerves, meeting those little animal wedding vases. Yeah, I'm particularly proud of the narwhal. <laughs> Available on my Etsy if anyone cares. <sighs> and I hope it was all worth it. I know it was all worth it. Look at you both. <laughs> Annie, I would die for you. You're my world, nay, my universe. And you are the most perfect couple. <laughs> yep. I'd say my name, but you probably already know it. Yes. That's right. Amber, reality TV star and London It Girl of the Year 2016. And uh, this is Bruiserwood, my dog. Cute, right? Yeah, too much attention on you now. <laughs> I'm Annie's maid of this honour and I'm here to add a bit of spice to this bland korma. Annie's a bit wet, really, so uh, I tried to bring her fun side, which is buried deep, 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 deep under those little floral dresses and kitten heels. Susan left me in charge of transport to the hen, so instead of rolling up to the spa in a camper van, we're getting a party bus to Lakota and raving until the early hours. Yeah! I just thinking... Watching those girls try to dance the jungle would be hilarious. <laughs> and um, a really entertaining evening for me. And that's what really matters, right? <laughs> so in terms of other plans for the wedding, I don't have any. Apart from getting with Mark. I mean, nothing screams icon behaviour. Quite like turning the groom's head the night before his wedding, right? I am the moment future generations will study me in 21st century celebrity culture textbooks. Thank you. Well, folks, we've had our fun. We've had our giggles. But it's time to announce our big winner. Who will be going home with 30 grand this evening? Let's see the money. <gasps> it appears that our prize money has been stolen! Dun dun dun! Who would do such an abominable thing? Mr. Chippy, really? Oh, classic, isn't it, Eve? <laughs> well, anyways, thanks for tuning in this week, guys, and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.